In the circuit below, using MNA, write a complete set of equations to solve the circuit and then solve it and compute the power in each one of the three sources. In this source, in this one, and in that one. The value of the source on the right, this one, VCC, depends on your student number. In this exercise, I will assume that this voltage is 10 volts. I choose my nodes, the reference, node 1, 2, and 3. Now the currents, arbitrary everywhere except where they are given, in this branch and in that branch. Control equations, let's see. It seems we need one for Ix, but when we go and try to write an equation for Ix, we find out that Ix is an evil current, so there is no possible equation we can write. No equation here. Evil equation 2. For VCC, that evil equation is V1 is 10 volts. V1 is 10 volts. Evil equation 2. For this one, V3 is V2 plus 0 0.7. This one, KCL for node 1, currents going in. This unknown current, I'm going to call that ICC, equals to 100 times Ix, which is the current in this branch, plus V1 minus V3 over 100K. KCL for node number 2, KCL2, let's see, for this node, 100 times Ix comes this way, and Ix comes this way, so the total current entry node 2 is 101 times Ix, 101 Ix, and the current leaving that node is V2 over 500, V2 over 500. KCL3 for this one. Currents going in, V1 minus V3 over 100K. Currents leaving the node, the evil current Ix, plus V3 over 50K. And that is the set of equations that we need to solve. Let's see what are the unknowns. Apparent unknowns are V1, V3, V2, that is 3, ICC, that is 4, and IX, that is 5, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equations. Of course, the first one is not really an equation, it is a solution, rather. So V1 is 10, so while we're solving that, we can, we can replace V1 by 10 here and there, and have 4 equations and 4 unknowns. Enter those equations in the calculator and solve for the answers. The first equation... The second equation, the third equation, the fourth equation, and the last equation. We solve for the system of equations, and the answers come out like this. The voltage V1 is 10 volts. The voltage V2 with respect to the reference is 1.586 volts. And the voltage of V3 with respect to the reference is 2.286 volts. The current ICC, this one, is 3.2 milliamps, and the current IX is 31 microamperes. Now we compute the powers. Well, the power here is 10 volts times ICC. 10 times this, that is 32.18 milliwatts. 32.18 milliwatts delivered because of the direction of the current and it's a positive current flowing from low to high voltage. Do not forget to write that the power is delivered power. Now, for the power in this source here, 0 0.7 volts times the current Ix, which is 31 microamps. Well, observe that this source is drawn absorbing power. The current flows from high to low through the source. That current Ix actually is a positive current, so indeed that source is absorbing power at a rate of 0 0.7 times 31 microamps. So the power in that source, 0 0.7 times that, is 2199 microwatts, well 22 microwatts absorbed 
do not forget to write that it's some sort of power. The third one, for this one, we know the current is 100 times Ix, and we know what is Ix, so that current is 3.141 milliamps, that is this current here in this branch. But we do not know this voltage in the source. With that voltage, I'm going to call that V alpha. V alpha times that current, which is 100 times Ix, 3.1 milliamps, we know what is the power in that source. What is that voltage? Let's see how we find out that voltage. That voltage is the voltage of this node that we don't know, minus V2. But the voltage of that node, I'm going to call that uh, node, node M. The voltage of M is the voltage of 1 minus a drop in this resistor. I'm going to draw the drop in this resistor like so, because the current is flowing from the top to the bottom according to this current source. So that voltage is 3.1 milliamps, that is 100 times 31 microamps, multiplied by 5,000 ohms, that is this voltage here. So the voltage will be this one, Vm minus V2. Let's write V alpha. V alpha is V1, that we know what it is, V1, that is known, it's 10 volts, minus 5,000, that multiplies the current, and the current is 3.141 milliamps. Minus V2, that is also known, that is a voltage V alpha. So this voltage V alpha across that current source, with that variety, actually is negative 7.3 volts, which means that V2 is higher than node M, which means that this source is actually delivering power, and delivering power at a rate of 7.3 multiplied by the current in that, that is 100 times Ix, that is 3.1 milliamps. That is the power in that source, alpha. Delivered power, alpha. Voltage, 7.2 9, 2, that multiplies the current, the current is 7.141 milli, 22.9 milliwatts, which is delivered power. And this finishes the solution to this question. Thank you.